Hello everyone, welcome to my first Excel automation tutorial. This is the first of a series of tutorials where I will show you how to automate Excel using the C-sharp language as well as Microsoft's Excel Interrupt library. In this video, I will be showing you how to create an open workbooks. Let's go ahead and get started. In front of us, we have Visual Studio 2019. Let's go ahead and select a new console application project. For these videos, I will be using the .NET Framework version. I will call mine Excel Automation Tutorials, but feel free to name yours whatever you'd like. Let's click on Create. Now we have an empty class that contains the main function. I'll go ahead and make the class public. The first thing we'll want to do is add the Excel Interop library. To do this, we will right-click on the solution for the project. Next, we will click on Manage NuGet Packages for the solution. Click on Browse, and then click in the search bar. Type Excel Interop, and it should come up. Next, we will click the checkbox for the project and click Install. What this does is it will add the library to our project. This library is what allows us to interface with Excel programmatically and lets us automate pretty much anything we could do normally when working with Excel. Once it's installed, go ahead and go back to your code. In order to create a workbook, we first need to create an instance of Excel. We do this by creating an object of type application. It should suggest to add a using statement for the interrupt library. The instance is not the same thing as the workbook. The instance represents the Excel application, and the Excel application is what manages any and all workbooks you have open. Next, we're going to set the visible property to true. As you probably guessed, we do this to visibly see the workbook being created while the program is running. Otherwise, the program will create the workbook in the background. Now to create a new workbook, we will type workbook sample workbook equals app dot workbooks dot add. This will create a new workbook and add it to the application to manage. Let's go ahead and try this out. As expected, we now have created an empty workbook. Next, we will open an already existing workbook. To do this, we will type workbook existing workbook equals app dot workbooks dot open, and we will pass in the file path as a parameter. Let's go ahead and run our program. Now it will create a new workbook and open an existing one. That's all for this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this in the future, I would encourage you to like and subscribe to the channel. This will help the channel grow and allow me to create more videos. Thanks for watching.